Hey guys, this is Upesh from Beyond.com and Oppo recently showed off its ColorOS 12 update based on Android 12. And from the looks of it, it seems like a great update that makes ColorOS overall a lot better. Well, we have it up and running here. So what's new in ColorOS 12? What are the new features and changes? I'm gonna tell you all about it, so let's begin. So this is the beta version of ColorOS 12 and the biggest change I've noticed here is the new UI, which Oppo is calling the inclusive design. So this is the new ColorOS 12 in action and you know what, this new update makes everything cleaner with better spacing, improved layout and more, be the UI elements or even stock ColorOS apps. Let me show you. So here's the notification shade and quick settings on ColorOS 12 compared to the notification shade and quick settings of ColorOS 11. And as you can see, the ColorOS 12 version looks way more modern and very clean. I also like this new animation part of ColorOS 12's new Quantum Animation Engine 3.0, which just makes this feel more smoother. There's also a new media output button I noticed at the top of the quick settings. Anyway, even the settings page has new colorful icons and a more cleaner layout. For example, here's the new personalizations page, which is way more cleaner and same with the battery page. And even the camera UI has a more minimal and more cleaner looking UI with more rounded corners and better text. There's also the new volume UI, which looks better. The launcher options here have rounded icons and that's not all. All the ColorOS stock apps have updated UIs. For example, check out the new file manager, which has a more visual info of the storage left. The new calculator app is also cleaner as it does not list out all the options up front. The ColorOS browser too has a new improved UI. I especially like the more simple approach to these options. Even the phone manager app looks better with two tabs now, one for scanning and the other one for tools. Overall, I think ColorOS 12 makes ColorOS look a lot better, more refined. I like the clean, more flatter UI all around. Now, ColorOS 12, as you guys know, is based on the latest Android 12 update, and I like the fact that all of the useful Android 12 features are present here. First of all, wallpaper theming from Android 12 is supported here. In the personalizations page, there's this colors option where you can set the colors to wallpaper color picking. Now, you can either choose the colors manually like this from the wallpaper or let the phone handle it. So here I am setting this wallpaper and see how the accent colors in the quick settings, the settings page changes. Here's another wallpaper that I'm setting and yeah, it changes again, as you can see. Now, apart from this, there are Android privacy features. There's privacy dashboard, which shows you when and how many times apps are taking up your location, camera and mic. Android 12's privacy indicators for camera, mic and location are also here. You can also now give apps approximate location rather than precise location, which is a very handy feature. There are also quick settings toggles to kill mic access as well as camera access. So floating windows, aka flexible windows, has been present in ColorOS since a long time. But you know what? ColorOS 12 makes it way better thanks to a lot of new gestures. First up, you can still open apps in a floating window with the sidebar. But now you can just hold an app like this and bring it to the top and release it to open it in a mini floating window like this. And now you can also resize these windows by dragging from the corner like this. Pretty cool, right? You can also hide a window on the left edge or the right edge and access the window later. I think this can be pretty handy. Now, another cool thing is the ability to select files in a window and drag and drop to other apps like this. Yeah, these floating window features are awesome. The sidebar is another ColorOS feature that has been present since quite some time, but with ColorOS 12, it's getting better. First up, it's now called Smart Sidebar and that's because it will now bring you apps and tools based on your usage. So if you're someone who opens up, say, Netflix at around 10 p.m. every day, the sidebar will have Netflix on it at this time so you can quickly launch it. Apart from this, it has the Translate feature which uses Google Translate to quickly translate whatever's on your screen. It also has the background streaming support. So when you play a video, say on YouTube, it lets you run its audio in the background even when the phone is locked. This is great for non-premium YouTube users. First of all, the Photos app has a new UI that looks clean nice like the other ColorOS 12 apps, but I like the new options Oppo has added. 
See, when you open the app for the first time, it now asks you if you want the newer photos at the bottom or at the top. Apart from that, there's a new option in the settings that lets you remove privacy info of photos before sharing. You can remove the geolocation tag of photos and you can even remove details like phone model, aperture, shutter speed, etc. There's also an option now to get these quick access buttons for videos, favorites, locations, etc. in the main page. Now, this is actually a feature that lets you calibrate the display on an OPPO smartphone based on your color vision. The option I'm talking about is color vision enhancement, where you can use this personalized option to take a color vision test that looks like this. This requires you to arrange the colors by tapping the color that looks the closest to the last one. And after you've done this, the colors in the UI will be adjusted based on your color vision. Now, this is a tool that's aimed at people with color blindness, but it's pretty interesting. Now, Colorless 12 is not just about the looks or the new features, it brings some really good performance improvements too. First of all, there is AI System Booster, which is set to reduce the memory usage by 30%, tone down the background power consumption by 20%, and increase battery life by 12%. There's also a new anti-aging feature, which is set to ensure that a ColorOS 12 device will operate as good as new, even after three years. Now, these are things that one could only test in the long term, so I'll reserve my judgment. Overall, those are all the new ColorOS 12 features and changes, and I personally like this new update. I mean, I especially like the new cleaner, more sorted UI, and I also like the new features and the fact that it brings all of the useful Android 12 features. Anyway, I want to know your opinion on the new ColorOS 12 update, the new UI, the features, everything. Make sure to comment that below. Also, if you're wondering if your OPPO smartphone is compatible with the new ColorOS 12 update or not, you can check out a link for the same in the description down below. Also, give this video a like, make sure to share it, subscribe to the channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.